Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, and if you haven't been here before, thanks for visiting. My name's Carolina, I live in New York City, and I make videos on sustainable designer fashion and other fashion and design related things that I feel like talking about. So if that sounds interesting to you, please like this video down below and hit the big red button to subscribe to my channel because it really helps out my teeny tiny new YouTube channel and I would appreciate it. Today's video is gonna be super quick because I'm kind of in a rush to head out the door, but I just wanted to do a quick review on my Louis Vuitton Keepall bandolier in the size 50 in this monogram canvas. I did actually just sell this thing. I went through a bunch of items in my closet that I have not touched in at least like a year or two because closet is getting kind of full and I need to clear out some space for new things that I will actually want to use. I'm really not a fan of keeping things in my closet just for the sake of having them or holding on to some kind of memory or you know whatever million reasons you can come up with to keep something that you're not actually getting any use of and so that's why I decided to part ways with this guy. So without further ado let's jump right into the quick little review of my keyball in the size 50. This thing is massive so I'm not gonna hold it up for this entire video. I'll like post some clips of the bag to the side of me because even with nothing in it right now I just have some like old clothes in here that I don't use to stuff it a bit but even with nothing in it it is really heavy so let's start out with the pros on this bag pros are that it is a pretty decent travel bag if you're looking for like a flex kind of travel bag definitely gonna fill that need another pro is that it comes with the little luggage tag when you buy one of these so a lot of people really like having the Louis Vuitton luggage tag because you know you can get them monogrammed with your initials or whatever else you want on it you can add them onto other bags and it has the little Louis Vuitton hot stamp on there and I think there's a thing to slide in like your name and address. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize this, but there's like a little plastic thing in there where you can slide in a piece of paper with your address in case this gets stolen or lost. Although I guess if it gets stolen, no one's gonna be returning it to you because that's why they sold it in the first place. But definitely a huge pro, especially because you can't buy luggage tags directly from Louis Vuitton, like just walking into a store and saying, hello, I would like to purchase one luggage tag today. Uh-uh, can't do that. You only get it if you buy a bag that comes with it. So if you buy a key ball, or I'm not sure what other bags come with it. Uh, I can probably list some down below, but that's definitely a huge pro. Although, is it really worth buying an entire giant bag just to get a luggage tag? I don't know, that's up to you. Another pro of this bag is really, it's just like accessories that come with this thing. So this also comes with a little lock. On the one side, it says Louis Vuitton, and on the other side, it has little LV initials on there. Again, you can't buy the lock separately by just walking into Louis Vuitton. You have to get it with one of the pieces that comes with it. I've seen a lot of people like turn them into necklaces and sell them as like a little charm necklace with the logo. I guess that's kind of cool. I story time. I was at the Louis Vuitton in Soho sometime last year and I was just chatting with like one of the sales associates and he was telling me that just like a week before some one of the sales associates had gotten like fired. I don't think he was arrested but definitely fired because he had been stealing locks like from Louis Vuitton and then selling them for a profit like on the pre-love market because they do sell for quite a markup. I don't know how much they sell for. And he said that this guy had made off with profits of like 30 grand, so God knows how many locks he had stolen before they realized. But yeah, that's a little little story time that I learned that day that I was in Louis Vuitton. I don't even know we, we started talking about these. Oh, we had started talking about them because, and this is why I know that they don't sell the locks individually. A group of girls had gone in and said, hey, can we like buy the locks? We wanna change them into necklaces. And they were like, no, you have to buy a whole ass bag if you want the lock. Another pro is just the sheer size. This is also a con, but we'll get into that in a second. This thing is really massive and you can fit like, I mean, I pack so heavy, but I can fit like a week's worth of items in here because you can get multiple pairs of shoes in, so many clothes, so many toiletry cases. This thing packs a huge, huge punch. And this isn't even the biggest size. I think the 50 is the second to smallest size. Still fits so much. So you're not gonna have any trouble with having to limit yourself on how many things you can take on a trip with this bag. It does fit more than a carry-on suitcase. Like guaranteed this thing fits more. So, you know, if maybe a carry-on suitcase usually is too small for you these are definitely a good option to look into because you can still take them like with you in an overhead bin or under the seat in front of you on a plane mostly because even though carry-on suitcases look like they're a little bigger this because the canvas is so flexible everything that you throw in here is going to expand the bag as far as possible so when this thing is stuffed it is huge and the last pro i'll say to this is the strap that comes with it it comes with this little shoulder pad that you can move around and when it's resting on your body it hits right here and it kind of makes it a little more comfortable when you're walking around with this thing but 
it's still heavy. Nothing's going to alleviate the pain from the heaviness of this bag. One last con I'll say is the handles. I think that the handles on this are really great because they're very thick and they're very sturdy leather. So these aren't, and like the attachment to the bag are really sturdy as well. So these aren't like little flimsy handles that feel like they're gonna fall off. The bag is definitely super, super well made. Another huge pro is just, I mean, Louis Vuitton is known for its luggage. This is no exception. It is a very, very well-made and hard-wearing bag. Like this thing is ancient. This is from, I think it's from the 80s. It's really old. And while the leather is super patinaed, it is like very, very functional. There's really nothing wrong with it. There's also no tears or rips in the canvas. So it can really, really take a beating. Let's move on to cons. Cons, number one, I keep saying this, but it's so heavy. Because you can put so much into it, it gets extremely heavy. I can totally handle heavy bags. Like my laptop for work is like, 10 pounds and I have to carry that around with other things in my bag and that doesn't bother me. But this bag full is just way too heavy for me. I personally also think that the issue with it being too heavy is just because it's a travel bag. If you are walking around an airport, you have to lug that giant thing on your shoulder and it's a little too large to rest on top of a carry-on suitcase. The next con is definitely the leather that's on this bag. It is that classic Louis Vuitton Vachetta, which of course is gorgeous and is so classic, but it does get dirty super quickly. And it's kind of hard to avoid with something that is a piece of luggage, unless you are never ever putting this on the ground or never carrying it around in the rain. And you never know what happens when you're traveling. Like you can easily get stuck in a rainstorm and you're forced to use this bag because what are you gonna do? Just leave it in the airport and not go to like your next destination kind of unavoidable. And you can tell I did not take the best care of this. So there's like water stains all over it. I've put it on the ground because you know, <laughs> things just happen when you're traveling. And so there's stains all over the bottom of it. The handles are also covered in a bunch of water stains. It's just, it's kind of inevitable unless, I don't know how, like unless you're flying in like a private jet, how are you using this thing without getting it dirty? And while there is always the risk with any kind of bag and any kind of item that you're gonna get it dirty and you're gonna get the leather messed up from just like putting it on the ground, getting stuck in the rain, with this Keepall, it is so much of a higher risk. I mean, that is why mine is so messed up. I also wasn't super careful with it to begin with, but still like that is a lot of wear that shows on my bag. But the camera this is in perfect condition. Like the canvas looks absolutely great, but the patinaed leather, the watermark stained leather just does not look that great. The next con kind of ties into the fact that it is really heavy, but let's say you maybe don't want to use it as your carry-on and you do want to check it. One, it's going to get super dirty if you do check it because you know, this bag is just getting thrown around everywhere from plane to plane, from checkpoint to checkpoint. And also because it's so ostentatious with the monogram, it kind of, again, makes your bag more of a target when it's going through like checked baggage. I checked this bag a couple times stupidly in like high school and at the start of college. And honestly, I'm shocked that they didn't steal it or like steal anything inside of it. And so again, then you're probably gonna wanna avoid checking it, but then we're like going into a circle here. Then you'll be forced to carry a giant heavy bag around the airport when you know, you gotta walk a lot from terminal to terminal. So that's my personal recommendation. I really prefer using, I have like a Delcy hard case carry-on suitcase that I love using and I use my Givenchy Antigona tote and I just put it right on top. Perfect combination, super easy to use. My Antigona tote is also very low key. It's not like huge in logos and my luggage is just luggage. Like there's no logo on it either. So it's really great for like traveling abroad and not wanting to be like, super out there. Not that I don't do, like I still wear like designer bags when I'm traveling abroad, but it's just different when you're in an airport and so many people are handling your luggage and you're getting into cabs when you're going to hotels. It's it's passing through a lot of hands. However, if you love the Louis Vuitton classic luggage and you just love the idea of having one of these, then definitely go for it. It's all personal choice. Or maybe you travel differently and your luggage isn't passing through a lot of hands or you really are not bothered by like the risk of it getting stolen, then absolutely go for it. Totally up to you. My other recommendation would be to go, like if I were going to have to buy another one of these again, I would go for the men's version that has the black leather trim. That's not gonna show where it's black. So you're not gonna see any stains and also it's treated leather. So you're not gonna get the same kind of patina and water stains on it as well. Jesui Lu has one and I didn't even know that they made a version with that black leather trim. And I love that version. I do like the idea of these bags, but I probably still couldn't get over the heaviness of it. But if I were going to get another one, I would totally go for that one instead. I might be one of the only people that feels so negatively towards the key balls, just because every time I go to the airport, 
I see at least one person wearing this bag. All right, guys, that's it for today's review on my Louis Vuitton Keep All in the size 50. If you have any questions on this bag, maybe anything I didn't cover, feel free to leave a comment down below. Happy to help out. And as usual, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.